Hi everyone. Welcome to the Chemical Engineering Process Design Learning Videos with Aspen Plus Software. This is our 11th video lesson. This video lesson provides you knowledge and skills on using Aspen Plus software to simulate catalytic packed bed reactors. Using simulations to find the pressure drop and catalyst weight in a packed bed reactor. Let's consider an example problem to get familiar with catalytic packed bed reactor design in Aspen Plus software. Ethylene oxide is commercially produced by the vapor phase catalytic oxidation of ethylene with air. The rate law of the reaction is shown on the screen. Value of rate constant is in SI units. Ethylene and oxygen are fed in stoichiometric proportions at molar flow rates of 1.08 pound mol per hour and 0.54 pound moles per hour respectively. We have to determine the conversion and the pressure drop in the packed bed reactor under following conditions. Let's take the catalyst weight is 60 pounds and the void fraction of the packed bed is 0 0.45 catalyst particle diameter as 0 0.25 millimeters operating temperature at 260 degrees Celsius. Let's take the tubular reactor contains 100 number of tubes with 1 meter length and diameter of 2.5 millimeter for each. Also let's take the absolute roughness of the reactor wall is 0 0.046 millimeter. Finally the inlet pressure to the reactor as 10 atm. Let's see the simulation procedure to model a packed bed reactor in Aspen Plus software and discuss the simulation results for this problem. Create a new simulation using the blank simulation option. Next, specify the components. We have to specify ethylene, oxygen, ethylene oxide and nitrogen as the components. We entered nitrogen because oxygen is supplied by air. Notice that this time we directly entered our component using the molecular formula of each component into component ID. This is another easy method of entering component in Aspen Plus software. After entering all the components, go to methods and enter the property method as Peng Robinson. Click the next button to populate the binary interaction parameters. Then move to the simulation environment. Go to the Reactors tab of the model library. Select R-Plug Equipment Model. Note that R-Plug can model both plug flow reactors and catalytic packed bed reactors. Connect two material streams for the feed and the reactor product. Rename the streams and the reactor block properly. Go to Reactions and create a new reaction. Select 
power law for the reaction type. And click new again. Select ethylene and oxygen for the reactants and ethylene oxide for the product component. Enter the balanced stoichiometric coefficients for the reactants and product. So we enter 1 for ethylene, 0 0.5 for oxygen and 1 for ethylene oxide. Then enter the reaction orders of the components in the rate law under the exponents. So we enter 0 0.5. 333 for ethylene and 0 0.667 for oxygen. Close the reaction sheet and go to the kinetic tab. Define the reaction kinetics. Enter the rate constant is equal to 1.9 into 10 to the power of minus 11. In Aspen Plus we mark 10 to the power by using E. So we type 1.9 E minus 11. As this reactor is isothermal and the rate constant is at the operating temperature, we enter activation energy is equal to zero. Note that the rate constant value must be entered in SI unit. Then select the valid phases of the reaction as vapor. and mark the rate basis as catalyst weight. Note that for catalytic packed bed reactors, the rate basis should be in catalyst weight. Also select the concentration basis for the rate law as partial pressure. Now we have correctly modeled our reaction for the packed bed reactor. After that, in the navigation pane, go to the streams feed input. Enter 260 degrees Celsius for temperature, 10 atm for pressure and the mole flows of the components. Note that since we entered individual component flow into the composition section, it is not required to enter the total flow. Don't forget that we have an inert nitrogen flow also which is coming with air. After entering the feed input data, go to the blocks pack bed reactor setup. In the specification field, select reactor with specified temperature and enter a temperature of 260 degrees Celsius. Note that Aspen Plus also provides more options to model non-isothermal tubular reactors. But let's consider this reactor operates in isothermal conditions at this level. Next, enter the reactor configuration. Tube length as 1 meter. Tube diameter as 0 0.5 centimeters. And mark as this is a multi-tube reactor. Enter the number of tubes as 100. Keep the valid phases as vapor only. In the reactions tab, specify R1 as the selected reaction set, which we specified previously. Go to the pressure tab and mark the pressure drop calculation using frictional correlations. Note that if we know the pressure drop value, there is an option to enter the known pressure drop too. Since we need to find the pressure drop from this simulation, let's mark the correlation as Ergen equation. Then enter the absolute roughness of the reactor wall as 0.046 millimeters. Finally, go to the Catalyst tab, mark the option as Catalyst present in the reactor. Enter the Catalyst bed weight as 60 pounds 
and the bed void fraction as 0 0.45. Specify the catalyst particle geometry as the particle diameter is 0 0.25 mm and shape factor is 1 because we consider spherical catalyst particles. All the input required have been entered. Click the control panel button and run the simulation. The simulation should run to completion with no errors or warnings. Go to the blocks, PBR and stream results. We can observe the simulation results show a pressure drop. The simulated value for the pressure drop is 7.4 bar. Also we can observe the reactants have been converted to the product. Based on ethylene, we can calculate the conversion as 0.4 or 40% of conversion at these conditions. To see the pressure profile through the reactor, click on the pressure profile icon in the top. Mark the graph versus length option. We can observe the pressure drop through the reactor length in graphical mode like this. Next, let's check the effect of catalyst weight to the conversion. So go to the model analysis tools and select sensitivity analysis and create a new sensitivity case. In the vary tab, specify the catalyst weight as the varying variable. Mark the lower and upper levels as 10 pounds to 100 pounds. First specify the variable as ethylene mole flow in the product stream. Then go to tabulate tab and click on fill variables button. Thereafter, set the equation of the defined variable equal to the calculation of conversion using the feed and product mole flows of ethylene. So we can enter the equation for conversion like this. After following these steps, run the simulation. The simulation should run to completion with no errors or warnings. Open the result curve under the sensitivity case. We can observe that when we increase the catalyst weight, the conversion increases too. 
and vice versa happens when the catalyst weight is reduced. From this example problem, we learned how to model packed bed reactors in Aspen Plus software. Not that, still we considered isothermal reactor design for simplification and practicing the software as beginners. After proper practice with our video lessons, you can try more complex simulations in Aspen Plus software for non-isothermal reactor design as well as heterogeneous catalytic reactions in the future. As a summary, in this video lesson, we learned that Aspen Plus software helps to design packed bed reactors with reaction kinetics for gas phase catalytic reactions. Simulations help to study the packed bed reactor behavior with the possibility of changing parameters. Please watch our next video lesson about example process design using Aspen Plus software. Until we meet with our next lesson, have a nice day and goodbye.